this example, we are finding the domain of y equals square root x minus 5 over x minus 10. In order to find the restrictions on x, the same two rules used in example 1 apply here. These are that you cannot take the root of a negative number and you cannot divide by 0. So, using the first condition, this means x minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. Solving for x in this inequality, we get x must be greater than or equal to 5. This is already one restriction on the domain. Now another one is this. x minus 10 cannot be equal to 0. And this means that x cannot be equal to 10. So these are our two restrictions. Now we have to put these together in order to find the intervals that they exist on. So if we draw a number line for x, it must be greater than or equal to 5. So we can start here, and we can go up to 10. We can't touch 10. Then, so we're going to have a hole here, and then we're going to continue on. So there's just one spot where x cannot equal 10. So, putting these pieces together, we can write down our domain. x is such that x must be greater than or equal to 5, and also x cannot equal 10. And other than these restrictions, it exists for all real numbers. Or, in interval form, x will go from 5 to 10, but not touching 10. It's going to skip 10, and then it's going to go from 10 to infinity. So after plotting this in Maple, we can see that this function doesn't exist until it reaches 5, and then it goes down to a vertical asymptote at 10, and then it's going to continue on to infinity.